Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to draw this watercolor Valentine's Day card. Let's start. I'm going to draw this on the April canvas from Procreate. Let's rotate it this way. And here is the color palette. You can download it, link will be in the description. And for this illustration I will be using my watercolor brushes. Link for them will be also in the description. But I will also show you different brushes that are in Procreate that you can use instead. So first let's start with this color here, this orange one. And the brush I will be using here is Watercolor Basic. And like I said, if you don't want to use my brush set, here are the other options you can use. You can go to Artistic and pick White Light Brush. Or you can go to Painting and for example use a round brush. So let me go back to my Watercolor Basic brush. And the brush size I will be using is 20%. And I'm just going to draw some spots on the canvas like this. I'm going here very loosely. Sometimes I'm adding more pressure. Sometimes I'm stamping to add more color like this. This will be just a very loosely painted background with few colors in it. So this is how it looks now. And now let's change the color. Let's take the yellow color here and paint on top of the other color. And just like before, in some places I'm adding more pressure to add more of this color in there. Okay, and now one more color, this pink one, and let's add it in a few spots. Okay, this is enough, and now we're going to blend this. To do that, let's go to the smudge tool. And let's tap on it again. And here I'm going to use my watercolor smudge brush. And if you don't have it, you can use the same brushes that you used for painting. Okay, so now I'm going to set this to 72%. And I'm just going to blend the edges of the colors like this. This way they are blending each other very nicely. For now it's enough blending, now let's add some more effects to this. Let's add some more drips of color. We're going to create a new layer for this. And let's use this pink color still. And here I'm going to use my watercolor splashy brush. And if you don't have this brush, you can use a Procreate brush. I will show you in a moment which one. And the brush size is 69% and brush opacity is 62%. And I'm just adding some spots like this. So now I'm going to change the color to yellow and add some more spots like this. Ok, 
OK, now let's create a new layer and we're going to add some more splashes in there. Let's change the color. Let's pick this white one here. And here's the brush I was talking about that you can use. Let's go to spray pens and you can pick splatter. So here my brush size will be 48% and I'm just going to stamp it in a few places on the canvas, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to soften this a little bit and to do that let's go to the layers and tap here on this end letter and let's change the blending mode to overlay. Let's also turn down the opacity of this layer. Let's set it to 75%. And now I'm going to, to blend some more of the colors at the background there. So I'm going to layer number one and I'm using my smudge tool. This time the brush size will be 100%. And I'm just blending those colors more and smudging the edges a little bit more. Okay, now I think this looks better and I'm going still to turn down the opacity of this layer to make it less intense in colors. So here I'm turning the opacity down to 84% and I will also turn down the opacity of the layer number 2 with the splashes. This layer opacity will be 67% and now before we add the text in there, let's change the background color too. Let's tap on it here and pick this color very light pink one. Okay, let's tap done. And now we're going to create a new layer on top of all the layers. And first we are going to draw a heart shape. And this will be a guideline that we are going to use to draw plants and flowers on it. So first we're going to turn on the symmetry. Let's go to the actions menu and pick canvas. Now pick drawing guide, edit drawing guide and here turn on symmetry. In the options, make sure you have vertical option selected and now tap done. Now let's change the brush. Let's go to inking and pick technical pen. For this, my brush size will be 100% and I'm just drawing a heart shape like this. If you want, you can still use the arrow tool to move it and make it bigger. Just later, make sure that you will put it back to the middle of the canvas. And for this, you should have the snapping turn on in the options at the bottom there. Let's tap here to finish. And now we're going to make this layer not so visible. So let's turn down the opacity. Let's set it to 16%. And now we have to create a new layer above it to draw our plans on it. We want to use the symmetry tool on this layer too. So let's tap here and pick drawing assist. And now let's start drawing. Let's turn on the brush size to 43% and draw a line like this. Now let's draw some small plant leaves along this line. Okay, now we're going to draw some curved lines like this. And maybe let's add some dots to it, so it will be more interesting. And here we are going to draw a rose. Follow my steps to draw something similar. Now let's draw a line on top of it, curved line like this. And now one at the bottom. The end of it should go above the other line that we just drew. Now line here and line going over like this. 
one more here and two more lines like that. This is a very simple way to draw a rose. Now let's draw some leaves. Let's do one leaf here at the bottom. And now one here on top. To connect these rows with other lines, maybe let's draw some circles here like this, some small dots. And now let's go to the middle of the heart and draw some lines like that. Now I'm going to draw here one more plant, but this time the leaves will be empty. I'm drawing here simple lines going out of that first line and then I'm going to draw leaves at the end of those lines. Okay, and here I'm going to add some dots to connect the rows with this. And maybe just a few more dots on these lines here. Okay, so this shape is finished. And now we can just turn off our line that was helping us. So this heart that we drew first here, this one. Let's turn off the layer. Now we're going to add the text. Let's go to the Actions menu, Add, and then pick Add Text. Let's type our text, let's write I love you. And now let's select this word here, and then pick here Select All. And now if you tap here, we can change the font. The font I'm going to use is Snell Roundhand, and here I'm going to pick the style black. And now let's change some options here on this side. Let's make this bigger. You can always adjust the size later too. So don't worry about the size right now so much. And here let's change the tracking. I'm going to set this to 2%. This will spread the letters out a little bit, make them further away from each other. And also I'm going to change the leading. I'm going to make it minus 4.8 points. And this will just change the distance between the first line and the second line. Okay, let's tap on done. And now we can use the arrow tool to move this to the middle of the canvas. Please make sure you have the snapping tool on like I do. If you want, you can make it bigger now, but later just bring it back to the middle of the canvas. And now we're going to make this look more interesting. Let's open the layers and let's swipe this to the left and duplicate it. Let's tap on that layer lower, so this one, and pick here Edit Text. Now let's select the whole text, so let's tap here and pick Select All. Now open the options and pick this one. This will make the text an outline text. Tap on Done, and now we have to use the arrow tool, and we have to move it a little bit to the right and tiny bit down. To make some micro movements, just tap on the screen with your pencil. Okay, let's tap here to finish. And now we're going to draw some more details around the letters. So let's tap on the first layer here and create a new layer above it. We are still using the same brush we did before, so it's a technical pen. And we can just draw some lines around the words. Just like that. And now we can draw some small objects. I'm going to draw some flowers and some hearts.
this is enough. Maybe let's turn off that symmetry line from the middle of the canvas. So let's go to Actions menu and Canvas and just turn it off here. And now we're going to add some more dimension to this whole illustration. Let's open the layers and select the layers with flowers, text and that heart made out of plants. Just swipe to the right on those layers. Now we are going to group them. So tap here and let's close this like that. And we are going to duplicate it. So swipe it to the left and pick duplicate. Now let's tap on that second group here and tap again and pick here flatten. This way it will turn into one layer. Now we want this to be in a different color. So let's tap on it and pick here select. And now we have to turn on the color fill option. And we have to change the color to the color we want to use. So let's pick a black color. Now let's open the layers and as you can see all of this is black. Let's go to the arrow tool and move it to the right and down a little bit. Just like that. Okay, and now to make this look more subtle, we're going to change the blending mode of this layer. So let's tap here and pick here overlay. Now it will not be black anymore, but it will be the darker color of the color that is underneath it. Let's turn down the opacity of this layer. Let's set it to 83%. And now at the end, we can add the paper texture to this illustration. Let's go to Actions menu and pick Insert File and pick a paper texture. You can download those paper textures for free, link will be in the description, and just pick one that you like. And I'm just rotating it and making sure it fits the whole canvas. Now we have to change the blending mode. And here you can see what it will look like with different blending modes. But I usually use here multiply or overlay. For this illustration, I'm going to use multiply. And I'm also turning down the opacity to 38%. And what I like to do also is duplicating this layer and then putting it at the bottom underneath all of the layers. And here I'm going to change this to normal blending mode. And I'm just turning down the opacity still more to 24%. And this is finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you will use it and would like to share your drawing with me, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. And now here's a shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for being there with me. If you'd like to draw with me more, please join me there too. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!